Hello, everyone. Welcome to the ATK Tech Integration. Today, we are going to start about the integration. So in the integration, we are going to learn about the BTP, Business Technology Platform, that we are going to use for CPI, that is Cloud Platform Integration. If we talk about the SAP BTP, SAP BTP is a platform for intelligent enterprise. Customer can achieve agility, business value, and continual innovation through the integration. Data to value and extensibility to all SAP and third party application and data assets. So in this journey, First of all, we are going to start with the BTP trial account setup. So stay tuned with us and gradually we will be learning the CPI in the step-wise step manner. And accordingly, we'll have a plenty of other knowledge will there be as well regarding the integration, the software integration and to the process integration as well along with it. So in this journey of set up the account, first of all, what we will do, first we need to go on to this link. Just open your browser and type this link into the browser. That is account.hana on demand.com once you will click on to it you will have a sap btp cockpit onto your screen which could be like this now the thing is that if you are not already registered with the sap in that case you need to go here and click on to the registration once you will go for this registration We'll have a, this screen in front of us where we need to provide a email account address through which you wanted to register with the SAP and you wanted to create a BTP trial account. Once after entering the email address here, just click on to the next. Once you will go to the next, you will have this type of the screen in front of you where we need to fill out few of the details like first name, last name, the country from where you are operating in, what would be the company. So you can simply write the company name over here. Now your phone number is also required so that you can receive the OTP as well to configure the BTP trial account. Now the department has to be entered and the relationships with the SAP. And once you click onto this checkbox and fill out to the submit button, press on to the submit button. Just after it, the mail ID which you have given over here, just go into that mail account. So for my case, I have given the Gmail account. So I went into the Gmail account and there we will receive such a mail, this type of the mail where we need to go for the activation of our account. So just open this mail and click on to activate your account. Once you will click over here, you will get this screen where we need to provide our password. We need to create a password. Just create a password as per your convenience and click on to the submit. Now you can see you will have such a screen in front of you where it shows that your trial account has got created with the user ID. The user ID has been provided and you can access through your mail account as well, mail ID as well, which you have entered earlier.
Now we need to configure the trial account. Once you will click over there, you will have such a screen there. We need to click on go to your trial account. Now, once you enter into the trial account, we'll have a, such a screen in front of us where we need to choose either of the reason, either use the US East AWS or the other one is the Singapore Azure. The two options has been provided to us as of now into the trial account configuration. So accordingly, you can choose whatever you like it's up to you, but it's mainly recommended whichever is closest to your location, we should go accordingly. In my case, I have selected the AWS one. Now my trial account has got created and will have such type of the screen in front of us. Now, we need to configure our trial account. Our reason has already got set up. Now, what we will do, we need to configure the integration suite. What in that case, we need to go into the left palette. There, we need to go and select the services. Inside the services, we'll click on to the service marketplace. Whenever you will click onto the service marketplace, you will have such a screen in front of us. There, we need to search for the integration shoot. Here, once we will type the integration shoot here, you will have this options in front of you. Simply click onto this integration shoot. Once you will click onto the integration suite, you will have such a screen in front of us, in front of you. There, you need to go and click onto the create. You need to create the integration suite. Once you will click onto the create, we'll have a pop-up window like this. There, we need to provide some of the details. Just leave it as it is whatever the detail is coming for the services, plan, and click on submit. Now the creation process has got started now. Just after that, once you click on submit, we'll have such a screen in front of us. Here you can see the integration suit, business application, studio is already been subscribed now so next step is what we need to assign some role collections to it so for that what we need to do we need to go into the left palette under the security we'll go to the user there once you will go into the user just select your user account may might be that will be your mail ID, just select that one. Once you select your mail ID, just at the right side of the window, just go down and select the role. Sorry, select the role collection. In the role collection, <clears throat> we need to just click on to this three dot and then go to the role collection. Once you will go into the role collection, through it, we need to search for the integration provisioner. One dialog box will get open in front of you. There we need to select for the integration provisioner. This is basically to provision and basic configuration of the integration capability. For that purpose, it is being used. So we need this role to be assigned onto your user. So we'll click on to it and click on to this assign role collection. Now the role collection has got assigned to your user. Now the SCP, BTP, we are almost done over here. Now, once you will come onto this screen, just simply either click on to this integration suit 
or you can click on to this three dot and from there you will get go to application and click on to the go to application once you will click on to the go to application a new window will pop up in front of you like this there you see that the integration suit has already been created but here we don't have any capability added to it so what we need to do we need to add some capability here so for that we need to click here onto the add capability once you will click onto the add capability you will have such a screen in front of you here we are mainly configuring it for the cpi purpose so so better you go and select this design develop and operation integration scenario this is basically remained for the cpi integration we are selecting this in the same manner you can select the other checkbox as well but better to go one by one you can later on also add the remaining capability with your account so for this i have selected the first one design develop and operate integration scenario just after it you need to select this messaging queue as well and now click on to this activate once you will activate it this window pop-up window will open in front of you and you can see the cloud integration in progress that means it will take some time to get this complete and just let it be like that in the meantime what we will do we we'll come back to our trial cockpit and there we need to assign some messaging rule to the user so that it can be used for our cpi messaging so for that we'll come back to the security user and role collection there we need to create one role collection either you give a name like cpi underscore message send i have given such name to create one role collection nothing like that you can specify other name as well it's up to you how you wanted to get it configured so for me i have simply given cpi underscore message send so we need a role called esb messaging dot send to be assigned to the user so that we can utilize this user to send a message to the cpi once you will created that role so we need to assign some role into it so for that we need to go into the assign role and there we need to select the messaging send this messaging send role is required to be added to your user so we'll assign this role to the cpi underscore message send now what we will do we'll come back to the user assign role collection there again three dots assign role collection a part of this cpi message send we need few other role as well which is required for our integration suit for our cpi to work properly so here you can see that is listed out over here pi underscore administrator pi underscore business underscore expert pi underscore integration underscore developer and pi underscore read underscore only these are the few roles which is also required to be added to your user so that your cpi so that your integration should work properly after selecting these roles simply go and assign 
role collection. So this way, the trial account has got set up. So you may directly go into the integration suite or simply click on to this three dot and go to application, click on go to application. It will open a new window or open new. Now you can see over here, the trial account has already gone set up. You simply go into the browser and save this URL. This is your tenant to access your trial account. This way, we could able to set up our trial account. Thank you. All the best.